Hey everybody, it's Dave. How you doing out there? You know, I got one serious problem. I think the New York Giants are sticking it up our ass. I can't believe they're doing this fire sale bullshit and they're going to get rid of, you know, they've already gotten rid of Eli Apple, Snacks Harrison. I mean, what's up with this? Do they actually want to become the Cleveland Browns, you know, in the NFC East? Have everybody showing up watching their games wearing bags over their head? What are they, freaking kidding me? You know, now normally I would do my NFL Week 8 trends against the spread. But you know what? Schumer came out Tuesday morning. You know, who does he think he's freaking kidding with this beach, this bullshit? We're doing whatever we can to win right now. Are you freaking kidding me? The offense can't even put up any points. And you know what? Your play calling really has a lot to be desired there, Schumer boy. You know, you think you're the golden child, but you can't even put any effing points up on the board so now you think the best way to win is to decimate the defensive side of the ball are you freaking kidding me do you know what it's like to lose in new york city i don't think you do the new york metro area is going to eat you alive they haven't begun gun to bitch about you yet pal you you know it's unbelievable i can't believe you guys are this crazy to think you could pull this shit off now you know you're saying this bullshit about oh we're doing whatever we can to win right now and you and Gettleman so far now what did you do you traded Eli Apple to the Saints for a fourth rounder in 2019 and a seventh rounder in 2020 I mean what did that gain you a little cap space now you trade Snacks Harrison to the Lions for a fifth rounder and the rumors are you know that are going around it you, you would consider trading uh, defensive end Olivier Vernon, cornerback Janoris Jenkins. Now, I know he's not the jackrabbit anymore, but he ain't that bad. Safety Landon Collins you're talking about getting rid of. Linebacker B.J. Goodson. Are you guys really that sick that you think, you know, giant football is defensive football? I know you have the two studs. You got Barkley and you got Odell. I mean, they are two studs. But you should actually probably do them a favor and trade their asses so at least their talent can be used somewhere where it's appreciated. What are you guys thinking? I have no clue what you're thinking. You know, now I realize uh, Gettleman's trying to get rid of all the Jerry Reese's picks. They weren't that great either. But I got a little bad news for you, Dave. I mean, you were supposed to be known for finding hidden talent. You know, going third, fourth rounders and stuff like that. Well, you know, I'm really not impressed with your first year now. I do feel sorry for you. I know you had a personal situation you were battling. But really, I'm not that impressed. Nate Solder, come on, what'd you give him, 14 or $15 million? You know, now I know you're freeing up cap space so you can go out and sign some big quality players. But, you know, now that you've decimated the defensive side of the ball, not only do you have to do the defensive side now, you're going to have to do the offensive side of the ball. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Who in their right mind is going to want to come and play for the New York football Giants. I hate to say it. It breaks my heart, but you're actually turning into a la you're turning the Giants into a laughing stock. I mean, I can see fans, what are we in week 8? I give you a, and it's a home game, I think. I could see them putting bags over their heads like the Cleveland Browns. Who wants to be associated with a team that's just falling apart. You're turning them into the laughing stock of the NFC. And really, I've been a giant fan my whole entire life. I remember when my father watching the shitty days and the crappy days and the Maras fighting with each other and then all of a sudden they brought George Young in and he turned the franchise around. Ernie Accorsi, he came in, he didn't do a bad, bad job either. I mean, it's, it's actually to the point, and I truly hate to say it, I am not watching any more New York Giant football games. It upsets me. I have a heart condition. I had a ruptured aorta. I don't need that kind of aggravation of, of watching them just lose game after game. And as you trade more and more pieces away and get 
ungats, that's an Italian saying. In other words, you're getting shit except draft choices. And if you don't make the right picks, where are we, Dave? Where are we going to be if you don't make the right picks? We're going to be in the same shit. Not only now do you have to find a franchise quarterback, you're pretty good on the rest. You need an offensive line. We know that. You can't get an offensive line, that's for sure. Now you're going to have to rebuild the defensive side. I don't want to watch. I'm 58 years old. I won't be surprised if I'm not watching the Giants play until I'm 64, 65 years old. I don't get it. I don't understand it. It, it, it's just, it just boggles my mind. You know what, too? You guys really ought to think about doing Eli Manning a serious favor. I got his autographed footballs. I got his jerseys. I got everything in my man cave about Eli. I got a lot of giant stuff in my man cave. You ought to really do Eli a solid and just release the poor man. He's, you know, he's old. You're going to get him killed. He's going to get flattened. He doesn't really deserve to go out that way. You should just release him. Do him a favor. Bring him in a back room. Talk to him and see if he's game for it. I mean, let Laletta play. Let him at least maybe he's got legs. He can get the hell out of the freaking way. And you know what? While you're at it, what the hell do you think Odell Beckham and Barkley feel like? I know Odell's got a big contract. Barkley's a freaking rookie. He's running for his freaking life. He's playing lights out. Beckham played a great game last last Sunday, or last Monday, and, you know, what are you doing for these two guys? You think these two guys are going to want to sit around and wait and wait and wait for you to finally put a team out on the field that can freaking win a football game? Just get your effing act together, Gettleman and Schumer, and even you, Mara, you know. Tish, I can understand, but your family's been a football family your whole life. Get it together. You call Odell out, maybe they ought to start calling management and the owners out. What do you think about that one, guys? And if you're football fans and you feel the same way as I do, why don't you comment down below? I'm out. I'm not even doing against the spread this, this week. It's just too aggravating. The Giants got me too pissed off. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> what? Walnut allergy? <laughs> yup. Hey everybody, if you like what you're seeing on my channel, do me a real big solid. Click here, maybe it's here, or up here, somewhere here. And then if you really want to see some more of my videos, check them out over here, or up here, or down a little lower. Either way, just click everything for me, alright? Have a good one. I'm out.